Okay, so I'm now arrived at the Aqua Multi Space in Valencia. As I said earlier, it has 110 stores. It's got 35,000 square feet of shopping area, which is incredible. And as I said previous, Google says that it's number one shopping mall in Valencia. So we'll take their word for that. And uh, it has five floors. I'm reading this off to make sure that you get the right information, of course. Uh, it has a cinema. It has two uh, hotels here. It's open 10 to 10, Monday to Saturday, and Sundays 11 till nine. So it's open a lot. It has a Lego factory here, which I am looking forward to seeing. Everyone likes Lego. Um, and the buses to get here, I've just come on the bus, and it's a number 19, and it takes you not to the door, but it's very, very close. Parking, if you come by car, is free for three hours. So that's quite a long time, three hours. But I have a feeling that you'd need more time if you were spending money. I won't be spending any money apart from having to drink. Uh, it has a taxi stand and it's the third tallest building in Valencia, if that's just trivial rubbish. But let's go in, let's have a look and uh, see what we can find out about this place because this is obviously the first time I've been here. Okay, so let's move it. Okay, bye. I'm not going to be able to get around all these 110 shops but what I will do is I'll leave a link in the description box with the website for this for this place for this shopping mall and um, it will list all the shops that are here there's not many that aren't here I must admit so you'll be able to find out exactly what uh, is here by just looking at the website there's an email on there as well if you want to email them them all so lots of information in the information box for you and uh, while I'm talking to you don't forget if you enjoy this video or any other video please subscribe please ring the bell and join our small community it is growing week by week month by month but uh, you can always do with a few more people coming on board so I'd like to see more people so if that's uh, what you fancy doing please join us so we now come up to a floor which appears to be all food outlets. So pizza place in front of me. We have uh, Foster's up here. Uh, what else we got? Plateau, Lazarian is here. Lots of them. So I think they do this a lot. I remember going down to Torre Vieja and that shopping mall was exactly the same on the first floor. They had all the, the bars and the restaurants. They have Taco Bell up here um, and others that I've never heard of. Obviously, they are quite uh, well known to a lot of people, but to me, not. But uh, this is what they seem to do, just put everything on one floor. It's very quiet. It's a Monday, of course, so Monday is not the best day for shopping. It doesn't matter to me because I'm showing you the place itself, not uh, people walking around. So on this floor where all the restaurants are, we've got Lego and uh, it's a big store. It's unfortunately closed, so I can't even go in there. But um, I'll try and sort of look in the glass in the window and see what I can see inside. There's a whole ton of Lego bits it's difficult to see through the glass and see much, but uh, they call this Lego City. So, if you want to bring your kids to play with Lego, then you can do so. But not for me today, because it's closed. Of course, you have McDonald's here, where McDonald's are everywhere, aren't they? So that's no big surprise. I don't know if Burger King are here as well. But uh, So 
So as you can see in front of me, it's a big, big place. And uh, with five floors, that's where all the shops come in to play, 110 of them. And obviously you have this one floor that has food on it and Lego as well. So if you like Lego, then you must come and see that. And uh, I, I don't know if it's got other um, children's play areas. We'll find out soon when I get upstairs because it seems to be on the next floor. I can see some toys. So, but you can see how massive it is. Escalators going up the whole lot. So pretty easy to get up and down. This is an American restaurant. And uh, as you can see in front of you, they've got uh, good dishes, if you like that sort of thing. Hopefully they've got uh, milkshakes because I love milkshakes. Yes, they have. A Tommy shake with brownie, chomp, Tommy shake caramel, a pink panther shake. Quite expensive, I'd have thought. Nine euros almost for a milkshake. I don't think that's particularly cheap. The, the bunny hop, hop combo, 13.95. Um, that doesn't look too bad, but uh, certainly the milkshakes are expensive. So we're on the floor now where the cinema is, and uh, according to the, the legend on the wall, this is supposed to be number three floor, but um, I don't think it is because we're at the top of the building, so I think it's more like number five. But I'm surprised that this floor has lots of food places as well so we're gonna you know gonna have to go back down and wander back through as well but as i say the cinema is up here as you can see in front of me and also there's a gym up here as well if you're feeling healthy and you want to come and work out but this is what's on this floor it's a little bit disappointing really if uh, you're thinking about coming here with a wheelchair or someone who doesn't walk particularly good, that's not an issue because in front of me here, we have a lift that goes all the way up and down. So access is pretty easy for anyone that maybe is disabled or just can't walk too far. So no problem at all there. And that's all the way down to the bottom. So. Fantastic views up here. This is part of the views that you can get. And uh, that centre, I can't remember the name of that centre, but I know that they play tennis there and other, it's like a, um, an arena at some type. But I remember going there a few years ago on my motorbike when they were having a tennis tournament. So it's quite big as you can see. Quite futuristic, the buildings, I think. So on this floor, we have Starbucks, and uh, which isn't very busy. Well, nothing's very busy at the moment. And uh, Springfield in front of me. Um, if you want to come shopping when there's no crowds, come on a Monday morning, because uh, obviously this is what it's like. Got woman's secret here. I suppose that's a very similar to the other one. So that lady's underwear, Victoria's Secret, I think it's called. Not that I buy underwear, but there you go. There are more and more people now turning up here. It's a typical shopping mall, of course it is. You know, that's what it means. You know, you have lots of stores in one place. They just build them very high. And cram in as many shops as they can to make the rent, to pay for the millions that it's cost. And I believe this was quite a big bill for building this place. Got Levi across the road from where I'm looking. There's a second Zara. We have Jack Jones here in front of me, which is quite a popular shop. I've seen that uh, around several places around Spain. So that's obviously a fairly popular place to go for men.
Druni here. Druni is everywhere. My local shopping mall has got Druni. And uh, it's a very, very popular place to shop. So we have uh, Mango in front of me and uh, a place that I've not heard of before, Zappa Sport. I'm sure many of you have heard of it, but not me. And uh, next door to that, we have Guess, which uh, I always think is quite... It always makes me laugh when I come to these places because once again, I've been stopped by security saying, oh, you can't video, you can't video. Well, you know, what am I gonna show people that's any different to anywhere else. It's a bloody joke, really. But there you go. I just said to him, I was taking photos, not videos, and I showed him photos that I'd taken and didn't show him the videos. But a bit of a nonsense, really, that they say things like that. You know, it's an open space. They do control it, the security people, but he was okay. <laughs> 